We begin with breaking news tonight. A multi vehicle crash involving a Metro bus stopping traffic on George Avenue and East West Highway in Silver Spring. Our Nana sent you Bonsu is live at the scene. Nana, what can you tell us? Guys, good evening. The scene is now clear, but this road here, this section of Georgia Avenue is still closed for an investigation after a chase that ended up in a crash here. Take a look at video we have of Chopper earlier. We're told around 247 Montgomery County police were called to an area of White Oak Shopping Center about a robbery. When police were able to lay eyes on the suspect, they were inside that gray minivan that you see on your screen. Police, that's when police started the chase and it ended right here on Georgia and 13th. You can see that van crashed into the back of a Metro bus and subsequently a police cruiser also crashed into the back of the minivan. Take a look at this video. Uh, a viewer sent us with, you can see fire crews extra taking a man out of that car right over there. Just a lot taking place, but police tell us that there were no serious injuries. Three suspects were pulled from that minivan and, uh, excuse me, the passengers on the Metro bus, no serious injuries as well. Now, we did get a chance to speak to another witness who saw the chase start. You could see that video. He was in traffic, pulled out his phone because he was like, this is the middle of rush hour. I've never seen this this much of a scene taking place. Go ahead and listen to his reaction. Stuff like this doesn't really happen in a neighborhood like this. So uh, as I heard a lot of sirens, I just felt like the energy was changing in the environment. So I pulled out my phone as soon as I seen the cop just throw out spike strips. And I had a feeling what was going on as I seen a truck go down 29 and like, like four or five cops right behind him. Guys, it was a very frightening scene that pulled a lot of people out of their homes. This is a busy area. We're actually starting standing at a Hertz rental car area. People who were coming to rent a car couldn't even come and get the car because uh, this area is just blocked off. People who live in the apartment complex behind coming downstairs, checking to see if everyone is okay. And police can confirm that there are no serious injuries when it comes to the suspects, passengers on that Metro bus or police as well. We're also told a gun was recovered at the scene. Back to you guys.